Hello from Singapore. I'm Galinda. Today is May the 12th, day 36 of the circuit breaker period. It hasn't been a good day for me today. I'm feeling very emotional, um, teary. I think um, I'm getting a bit of a cabin fever. Intellectually, of course, I understand that we humans are bags of emotions and we feel happy when good things happen. We get angry when things don't go our way. Um, we sob when sad things happen. Um, we can hop around like bunnies when we're really, really happy. However, for me personally, I don't see myself as a very emotional person. I, I, I'm actually very controlled most of the time. So feeling all these emotions today is um, quite overwhelming. I've also made a big decision um, three days ago. I have resigned from my job. I know it is a crazy time to resign from a job. I also miss my children dearly. I mean, when I say children, they're not infants, they are young men. Um, I would love to see them again. Uh, I also have a loving partner who is currently in the US and um, I guess today I just feel very vulnerable and alone and I just want to be around people who care for me. Um, being in a five-star hotel is a, it's wonderful. I really enjoy it. However, um, this circuit breaker, um, this lockdown has um, isolated me um, to an extent that um, I find it quite difficult to cope. Losing my aunt yesterday, um, perhaps triggered a lot of emotions in me. It's like losing my mother again. Um, and life is just so unpredictable. Uh, I told someone today um, that I don't know why people are so keen to rush back to their normal lives because um, for me, I think there's quite a few things that has been normal to me in the past may not be something I'm so keen to rush back to. I've lived abroad and away from my family and friends for many years, most of my adult life actually, and I have never had the sense of home or needing to be at one place. I have always been a traveler, a wanderer, a gypsy. Um, but being in the current situation, um, it has brought me back to reflect on what do I actually want. And I think to this point, I can say that um, I just, I want to go home. Home to me is not defined by a country or a place or a city. Um, I've come to the realization that home is in fact, as the saying goes, where the heart is. And uh, to this point, I think I have realized that home to me is where my family is and I would like to be around them. And being locked down, life during lockdown um, feels a bit like being adrift in the ocean, um, desperate to see a sign of land. Um, but there doesn't, but there seems to be none. And we don't know how long it's going to take and the uncertainty 
itself is just very um, overwhelming sometimes. I think today I can say that, you know, during this COVID world that I'm living in now, just makes me feel a bit on edge. And I know that emotions are cynical um, and being aware of them is very important and it's the only way to help me manage it as overpowering as it is um, at the moment or as it seems to be at the moment. Um, I know that the intensity will not last forever and um, eventually these emotions will subside and um, well, especially when we listen, when I listen to the messages it's sending to me um, and by allowing these emotions to exist and to organize them helps me learn very valuable lessons and information about myself and my needs. COVID isn't going anywhere anytime soon and no one knows when things will get better or become a bit closer to the world that we're used to. Um, I know that doctors and scientists um, are working very hard on it and I put my my trust, my belief in them. So while I'm adrift in the ocean, I've decided to practice on my swimming skills and I hope to come back as a better and stronger person um, when this is over. This is one of my favorite chicken dishes in the Chinese cuisine. This is called drunken chicken. Um, it's a wonderful hot summer dish because the chicken is served cold and it's juicy and it's drenched in wine. The chicken is normally soaked in rice wine until the moment it is put on the plate. It's not exaggerated to say that because of the marinating liquid for this um, chicken dish it actually consists of 50% chicken and 50% rice wine.